I've never in my life seen or heard of any lunatic YouTuber like her. The tea is hot. It's really coffee, actually. I need sugar in this now. So for today's video, it's actually a really, really good one. It is a tag and Beauty Bird tagged me in it. When I was watching her video, I was like, this is such a good video. I mean, right off the bat, like just looking at her thumbnail just caught my eye because let's be real, everybody likes Cheeseman. She did the hypocrite YouTuber tag and it was like a video that was kind of going around in like the Spanish channels. But basically it's like a hypocrite YouTuber tag. Let's just go ahead and get started. It's a really good one. So the first question is, have you ever vlogged any video on Instagram? These are my blogs people you guys it's really not I thought I was gonna have way more I definitely get hate I've been called like the worst so that I get hate I definitely get it but I feel like I'm the type of person that would just like either delete your comment or I'll leave it on there so everybody else could see how bitter you are I just for sure let them keep on talking and let them keep seeing the fire pictures I drop. I will only block you if you really have gotten on my last nerves. If you're more like a hater fan where you're just constantly leaving hate like in all my pictures and you just want like so much attention, that's when I will block you. Do you envy any other YouTubers? There's no way that I have not ever seen like a freaking Lamborghini in the street and I'm not like envying the person in that car. That is innocent jealousy, it's very normal. If I follow you, if I watch your videos, like if I ever meet you in person, there's a chance I might fangirl. I'm not the one to be like, oh my God, this bitch. I feel like I'm the one that I will congratulate you. I see a lot of YouTubers succeeding that I have seen them start from the bottom and all I can say is goals. Have you ever answered back to comments in a rude way? <laughs> I'm gonna just take a sip real quick. I strongly believe that if you're out there leaving hate comments, you deserve to get dragged. I still do not understand when people say you are showing your true colors, wow. Like after you defend yourself, but don't get me wrong guys, I'm only defending myself. I'm trying to finish what you started. Look, I've, you know, cussed a few people out, but I have my reason. I'm definitely not the one to like, just attack you, start insulting your mom. Just start literally, going into your life like that but you know i just i'm defending myself i think there's like levels of like a fight i'll just kind of like defend myself but i will not go in on you like that a lot of the times i'll kind of just ignore the hate comments you know for the most part though i sometimes don't say anything question number four which one is your favorite video that you've ever done i have a few favorite videos i think one of my favorite videos of all time is my wedding video. I have wedding withdrawals all the time. I think if you follow me on Instagram, you'd know that by now. Not only the like short film I have on my beauty channel, but also on my vlog channel, I did vlog my whole wedding. I'm gonna have my vlog down in the description box in case you guys wanna check out my vlog channel because I do like to vlog. Another favorite video of mine, I think, is the 100 layers of liquid lipstick because one, it took me so long to film this video and it was such a successful video. It went so viral and let's be honest, I feel like a lot of us YouTubers are very proud of those videos out there that have done so amazing and it was so worth it because I took hours I mean the whole day. Also, of course, videos that I've done with my sister, also my little sister. Recently, I did a video with my friend Elizabeth. I thought that video was hilarious. I think anytime I do videos with somebody, it's just a lot more fun. So I really enjoy those videos as well. Honestly, I cannot choose one. There's like so many that I love. The next question is, what video are you most embarrassed about? Anything that is old, I just cringe. I have them up there for people to see but the thought of people actually watching those videos going back to those videos like if it's been like a good year that i posted that video i just feel so weird watching it but overall the most embarrassing videos are the ones like from the very very beginning it's like but i mean i don't really like regret posting them but they are so embarrassing have you ever had problems with another youtuber i actually have not i feel like it'd be really really hard to have a problem with me but you know this girl was talking a lot about my sister so let me tell you exactly what went down i'm not gonna tell you her name because it's, it's not even worth mentioning her but she is an absolute lunatic we collabed a few times with her as well as a bunch of other influencers she was really cool i mean she posted really crazy videos 
but we honestly thought it was just all for like YouTube. You know how there's people that will like do weird videos, but you know that in person, they're actually normal people. She started talking all this crap that nobody would be where they're at without her. Basically, she was saying that my sister just used her and blah, 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 but I couldn't believe it. Like, she is so fake. She has talked crap about every single YouTuber out there. I've never in my life seen or heard of any lunatic YouTuber like her. Karina eventually ended up finding out that this girl was talking a lot of crap about her. I feel like she was probably like triggered or whatever that Karina eventually passed her. So Karina started to like distance herself from her and even then Karina would still like collab with her here and then. I feel like Karina is very forgiving, but she started hearing more and more and more like this girl would never shut up and Karina eventually like cut her out of her life. So basically this girl was saying now that Karina's like up here that she's completely forgot about her. Karina's not the type of person that's just gonna hang out with you because you have a lot of followers. She has a bunch of friends that barely even started YouTube. She does not judge. She was just literally trying to act like the victim. Karina eventually blew up on her. I actually ended up tweeting her. I was like, don't you for one second think that Karina's at where she's at because of you. So she ended up blocking me. I haven't had problems with any YouTubers because one, I really don't go to a lot of events. And two, I don't think I would give somebody like a reason. I'm definitely not the one to be like, oh, you know, hey, like this girl's a don't talk to her. But if I started hearing somebody like talking crap, then I think I would definitely lose it. I feel like just in general, the beauty community, it's very hard to understand. I think a lot of the people that you would think are cocky are actually really nice. But yeah, the YouTube community is just, it's like, you just never know. You never know what it's gonna be like. If I could go back, what would I change about my channel? I think I would change the fact of how shy I was. And I still am. I feel like my sister always tells me like, loosen up a little bit. I can still be very conservative, but once you know, know me, I'm just myself 100% around you. Go through my older videos, I sound like a robot. I think Yvette so mentioned this in her video. You know you are not yourself. It's almost like this whole different person that you're looking at. The next question is, have you ever been inspired or copied another YouTuber? I feel like everybody has been inspired. I think doing the same thing that everyone else is doing, it's like really hard to be original on YouTube. There's only so many videos that you could do that somebody hasn't done. And it's like, when you do think you came up with something so original, you later find out that somebody already did it. It's so hard when there's thousands of people doing the same videos that you're doing. I just, I feel like we've all copied each other. If there's like a challenge going around and I know the person that started the challenge, I'll mention it. And if I don't mention it, it's because I genuinely do not know who started the challenge. I think it's bad when you do a challenge and you pretend you're the one that came up with it and somebody else has done it then it looks bad on you. Then again, there are people out there that do challenges and have no idea that somebody else did the challenge. There's a difference between you completely copying somebody's video and saying you're the one that came up with it. I've gotten inspired and I have copied. Like copied as in like, I love the outfit you were wearing and I bought myself the same outfit. Question number nine, have I ever given a dislike to any other video? I feel like for the most part, I'm always giving videos thumbs up because I know it's gonna help them out. Like the same way when you guys watch my videos, I highly recommend you give a thumbs up it, it is really helpful if I don't like a video that I'm watching I can cringe I could say all I want but I'm not gonna dislike the video oh my god no 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 wait wait I actually did dislike one video and this was actually a video it was like a little girl okay I don't even know if this video is like still up but she did a video why I hate Karina Garcia she was basically saying that me and Karina were one person and we were trying to make double the money and I probably should have never even like gave her a dislike because she was so young. My question was like, how did this, what, like six year old get a hold of a camera and uploaded this on YouTube? Like the parents probably had no idea. And that's like the only video that I ever disliked. I've never really actually understood why is there a dislike button? I guess like it could kind of give you an idea if you really did like a really crappy video because at the end of the day, obviously, no matter how many dislikes you get, there will always be more likes. So if there's a lot of more dislikes than likes, then there's a high chance you put up a video out there that you really shouldn't have. I think if it's a really like horrible video, I'll just instantly report the video. Question number 10, and this is the last question is, do you have another fake account besides your main channel? I'm like literally exposing myself right now. I think, okay, oh my God, this is so embarrassing. 
I'm gonna be completely real with you guys, okay? And believe me when I tell you this, I only did this once, but basically I did the challenge how I did my makeup in high school. I thought, you know, I'm gonna make this challenge, it's gonna be cool, let's see who does it. It actually became something very like viral. Once people started seeing this video go around, nobody really knew who was the main creator because I didn't even know that there was other people that had done something really similar to that. And I guess there was somebody that had done like how I did my makeup back in the day or something like that. It had nothing to do with her makeup in high school, but she started telling people about a certain video that somebody had copied her. I actually ended up clearing things up with her. She told me that this was never about me, but when I posted that video, I had so much people attacking me and I was so mad. I was like, how dare this girl come bring people to my channel? I automatically thought, I'm like, she's talking about me because all of a sudden everybody's doing this challenge. She pretty much told me like, I didn't mean it towards you. So it was just such a huge coincidence that once my video was put out, she talked about it. Because once I did this, how I did my makeup in high school video, so many people started to do this challenge. So I thought like she's just kind of like upset that nobody's crediting her because even Kathy Lights did this video and she ended up crediting me. And then in the description box, she ended up putting that girl's name, which was I think overall a huge misunderstanding. It didn't really make sense to me because her video had nothing to do with how she did her makeup in high school. So it was just like a whole misunderstanding because even Kathleen Lights thought like, oh, oops, I guess the original was this girl. So I actually made a fake account because I didn't know in what way like to comment on Kathleen Lights video that I was the one that did the actual how I did my makeup in high school. So I actually ended up commenting with another account that I made just for that day. I do not remember the password. I have not used that account since then. I regret it till this day. I'm like, why did I ever do that? But I ended up commenting. I was like, Myra was the one that actually did this exact video that you're doing. Because let me tell you guys, in my video, I did how I did my makeup in high school. And I also did the same hairstyle that I did in high school. And I noticed everybody else that did this challenge after me also did their hair how they did it in high school. So I do believe that my video did start this whole challenge. Yes, there were like similar videos before that, but the concept that I had going on, that exact concept, everybody started doing. So even capping lights was so thrown off with people telling her that I wasn't the original creator of the challenge, that it was the other girl. I was upset. I was like, this girl didn't even do a video that had anything to do with her high school makeup. But I'm telling you like, right when I did my video, it's something that started going out there and it was like the exact same concept I did, even like from the hair to all of that. It was a complete different video. So anyways, like I said, the girl ended up clearing up to me like, no, I wasn't talking about you. That was the first and last time I ever used that account. Honestly, at this point, I feel like if this was to happen now, I would have been the one to directly with my account put it but yeah i don't know why i made that account <laughs> literally like it happens especially after how big this challenge got i was so so upset and that's definitely something i should have handled like with my real account and then after that i think kathy lights was literally the only person that credited me aside of like my friends big youtubers were not saying who started it because at the end of the day nobody really knew who actually started that challenge so yeah guys i had a fake account for one day and i told myself from there on out that I would never do that again and I haven't since then. So that is it you guys for this challenge. That was really, really interesting. I feel like I talked forever, but it's such a juicy challenge, but I really hope that you guys enjoyed and I hope more people do this challenge. It's actually really interesting. I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did like it, please give it a huge thumbs up and also do not forget to turn on the notification bell. That way you guys are updated when I upload new videos. Also, before I leave, do not forget to follow me on my Instagram. It is Myra Touch of Glam. I definitely want to start doing more giveaways for you guys. So go ahead and follow me. I will have a bunch of more giveaways coming soon. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.